Advantage Lithium Corp, trading on the Venture Exchange as AAL, is a Vancouver-based lithium explorer and developer with assets in Nevada and Argentina. And today we have David Sidhu, president of Advantage Lithium, here with us. David, thank you for joining me. Thank you, Rachel, for having us. Yeah, so let's start uh, the conversation by talking about you. Um, who are you and what do you bring uh, to Advantage Lithium? Well, I bring experience, uh, 20 years experience in the resource industry. I was involved at uh, Yorkton Securities in the natural resource uh, sector for many years, over 15 to 20 years in the business. And uh, I founded two companies in the last 10 years, both bought out by majors. The l recent success that we had was in 2010. 2011, a company called American Oil and Gas bought out by Hess for 630 million. I, d I took some time off, did some research, and uh, decided I was going to get involved in the lithium space. And this is my new company that I'm founded about a year ago. Right now, uh, for the company online in introductions, it says that you have high quality international assets. What does that mean? Well, it's really a good question. Um, a, 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 when you get into a sort of a, a new emerging market like mm -hmm. lithium has been in the last 12 months. You've got to look at quality assets and we picked up uh, two assets, one in, in Nevada, in North America, uh, right next to the only producer in North America, Albemarle, of lithium. Uh, so it was a quite, quite a strategic move for us to have that asset right next to the large producer. And then we picked up uh, six assets in Argentina that are in the middle of Solars, um, not on the outskirts. We're not an area play company. We've actually got assets that are quality assets that we can bring to production at some time. Now your partner in Argentina is Oro Cobre. So what about them is a strategic move for you? Why them to help you move forward? Well, you know, it's a, a, another good question. And Oro Cobre is uh, the only independent lithium producer in the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. The market's dominated by four or five players worldwide. And uh, they're the only producer actually that's come out of Argentina in the last 20 years. And they've built a, a tremendous amount of respect in the country. They've got great social um, uh, and, and environmental um, uh, track record there. Uh, they understand how to bring lithium to the marketplace. They understand the Kochari Basin that we're going to talk about a little bit. Um, and they've got a process and facility there that they spent over $400 million on and developed over the last 10 years. So they've got a tremendous amount of experience in the country. Well, we started about uh, two months ago drilling in that basin. Uh, SQM and Lithium Americas have about 12 million tons that they've, uh, of a resource that they've, that they've uh, inferred there. Um, Oracobre has a 6 million ton resource in Kochari. And uh, we're right in the middle, uh, sort of in the center ice location, front, uh, you know, waterfront location in Kochari. We started a 12-hole drill, uh, drill program that we'll finish off by the end of this year. Mm -hmm. We'll start having results in the middle of September. And we have about a 500,000 ton resource there now. And right. we're building that scope of that resource larger. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll have some press announcements starting in September about how big that resource could be. We have actually in Kochari uh, uh, permits to drill 17 holes. Mm -hmm. uh, 12 of those holes will be drilled with a diamond rig, which takes the hole down to about 200 meters. And then five holes are rotary holes, which, will bring, which we can uh, drill down to about 400 meters. And we added a diamond rig onto our site so we get a little bit more early results out to the marketplace. Moving on, uh, how much cash do you have in the bank and what are you budgeting for next? Well, it's interesting, uh, you know, in the last 12 months I've raised $29 million for Advantage Lithium. We'll have spent about $5 million in Kochari by year end and we'll and exit 2017 with about $17 million in the bank. So we're fully funded until we get our feasibility study completed. So we don't need to raise any further capital. Okay, and you have said in the past that you'll be producing lithium in the next three years. Why do you say that? Well, you know, you know, we've got a basin that's already got a proven resource there. We're using the same drilling contractors that the other people in the basin have used. Uh, we've got a quality asset. We've got a, a partner that's already got a processing facility. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to build a facility that's going to take two or three years to build, maybe even five years to get permits. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can get into the marketplace a lot quicker than, than most companies. And I think that that time frame right now, Rachel, we're probably condensing that down to the next two to two and a half years that so we can bring with you. Than three years. Even shorter with how our drilling's going and, uh, and everything in the, in the basin there. Right. Now, besides everything that we've just talked about, what other advantages do you think Advantage <laughs> Lithium has over the other juniors in the space? Yeah, I think the strong catalyst you're going to see over the next several months is we're going to have a lot of news about our resource that we're going to develop. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of the other companies that are trying to get to marketplace, as you said at the outset of your interview, they don't have really good quality assets that they're, they're going to bring to production. And if they do, 
they're going to need a processing facility, and that takes a lot of capex, meaning you know over four hundred million dollars to build your own processing facility to actually process the lithium to get it ninety nine point nine percent lithium grade, which is what's used for batteries. Mm -hmm. um, we can build a pipeline, you know, ten kilometers away as our partner's processing facility. That's the biggest upside we have than anybody else. We can build a pipeline that'll cost us five to six million dollars. Right. We've got that in the bank already, and we can get to market quite quickly. And that's that, along with the experience that Aura Cobra has as a partner, is exactly. two of the biggest things that we have advantages that Advantage Lithium has for sure. And any other junior. And how about your technical team? Anyone notable that we can talk about here? Another very good question. We've inherited Aura Cobra's exploration team, mm -hmm. the, the team that brought their current current production to marketplace. They're 100% working with us right now. Miguel Perel was their main exploration geologist. He's our full-time geologist right now and Great. VP. Callum Grant, he knows the Puna quite well. He understands how to bring uh, uh, lithium to the marketplace. A very strong technical management team we have at Advantage Lithium. Great. And can you also elaborate on your share structure? Yes, we have uh, 135 million shares out. 60% uh, of that stock is owned by myself and Ora Cobre and some other insiders, and we've tied that stock up in a three-year pooling agreement. So we really want to build this company. All the money we raise, we're putting into the ground, and the shares that we own, we're tying up for three years. We don't need to sell, be selling stock. We're going to build a company like I have in the past, and we're going to build value for shareholders. Great. Now, our viewers um, have heard lots of things about lithium, but from your own words, why is lithium the new gasoline? Well, you, every day you wake up, there's another story in the, in the in a newspaper that Ford, uh, Mitsubishi, uh, you know, all these different companies out there, car companies, are actually embracing this new revolution from hydrocarbons to, to, to electric vehicles. Uh, infrastructure in countries are, ch are changing. There are more plug-in stations around. Um, countries are actually spending billions of dollars to change their infrastructure. This is a true revolution that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. It's not a fad. Tesla's bringing their vehicles into the marketplace at record pace. They're meeting analyst projections. That's very significant. Um, so I, I, I believe that energy storage and electric vehicles is the way of the future. Uh, lithium is a, is a big byproduct of that. And I think this in industry just got, is just starting right now. Gotcha. Well, David, thank you for joining us for the interview today. Thank you very much. Uh, be the first to watch CEO interviews like this one by signing up for our free newsletter on smallcappower.com slash sign up. I'm Rachel Lee for Small Cap Power.